I wanted to make a quick video about some problems I've run into and a big misconception I had when it came to using fiber optics in my models. For some reason, I had this idea in my head that all fiber was made out of glass. I'm not sure where I got the idea from, but it was probably from something like that old Sprint commercial. You know, the one where you can hear a pin drop? Anyway, I quickly discovered they're not all made from glass when I started playing with fiber optics around heat. I always ended up messing up my hard work when I tried to shrink wrap the ends. It usually went something like this, you know, like what you see here. So after I got the hang of using plastic fibers, with the exception of being delicate to heat and adhesive, I found them to be pretty versatile. You can mushroom the tips, you can bend them, and pull off all kinds of tricks. And I would wager that they're what most people are using when it comes to modeling. But a while back, I happened across this spool here. It's communications grade glass fiber optics used for cell towers. And the labeling says 62.5 slash 125 PDR 012. And I think that indicates the individual fibers are 62.5 microns or about 0 0.06 millimeters. And my thought was that I could use this glass fiber optics in situation where I needed to use a lot of heat, such as when I br solder brass etching or with heat shrink. Also, I hoped that super glue wouldn't attack this stuff, as that would be super helpful. Now, when I got this stuff, I wanted to see if it'd be easier to use than plastic fibers, and pretty much right away, I found out that it's not. You can see this stuff is pretty nasty. First off, for added strength, the fibers are wrapped in strands of fiberglass that gets everywhere, and the individual fibers are insulated like an electric wire, and I have to say that they're a pain to strip without breaking. Also, once the fibers are exposed, you have to be pretty careful with these. They're about as pointy as a needle, and the first time I played around with them, I actually got a tiny glass splinter, and it took me a while to dig it out because I couldn't see it. Honestly, after a few attempts to use this stuff, I gave up as it was just too finicky. But recently, I started my Millennium Falcon build, and for some reason, the white glue wasn't sticking to the plastic that was used for the model. You can see here that it's kind of peeling off. Um, so I wanted to give these glass fibers a chance again so I could use super glue to solve the white glue problem. So far, it turns out that the fibers are holding up pretty well to the curing of the super glue, but I'm not sure if long term if the glue will attack the glass fiber like it does with plastic. If you know, please uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this as I don't have any long term experience with these. So going back to the second reason I thought using glass might be helpful in certain situations, like around lots of heat. When I use plastic fibers, I tend to reach my breaking point pretty quickly. And sometimes I even give up when I melt the fibers for the second or third time. So if I was better at planning or had more patience, I'm sure this wouldn't be the case. But with these glass fibers, I can use all the heat I want and they stay intact. You can actually see here the insulation is frying away way before the fibers have any issues. They're still good. Is glass better than plastic fiber in models? Uh, generally speaking, in my experience, the answer is no. I don't think I'll use these very often. They're brittle. You can't bend them very far, and it's really a pain in the butt to strip them and separate them. Also, many of the tricks I use with plastic fibers, like mushrooming the tips, aren't really possible. I will say that once they're in place in a deeper crevice, it's a lot easier to cut the excess without fraying the ends. And in cases like that, the light transmission stays good. Anyways, except for very specific situations, I think I'll continue to avoid these glass fiber optics. Let me know what your thoughts are and if you have an experience using glass fibers or if you've come across a different type of glass fiber that uh, you don't really have to strip insulation off.